Greetings, Eric Packer. Thank you for coming back and looking at my video. We're going to talk about weird supplements or crazy things that people do. You can imagine the type of people I've seen over the years. I've heard it all. I've seen it all. All sorts of stuff that people take. But some of them are really over the top. Crazy. I've got a list here. Eating clay. Some people think eating clay really helps to clean out their body. Now, there are some merits to different types of detox clays, but I've never really seen much benefit for people eating clay and expecting to you know, detox their system or to bind to toxins and move them out, things like this. You know, People have all these kind of you know, different types of concoctions they come up with, but clay's been a popular one for a long, long time now. I have seen some merit in some cases, but I think you know, some of the cases I've seen and people eat ridiculous amounts of it and get all kind of bowel problems, I don't really think this is a good, good way to go. Um, diet sprays. In fact, if you go to um, Amazon, you'll find hundreds of different types of products called diet sprays. It's stuff that you spray on your body and you're supposed to lose weight with it. Um, I don't know, maybe if you use a spray like 500 times a day, you might burn off 50 calories or something. Maybe it's supposed to work like that. but um, Or it stinks that much that when you spray it on, you run around the house and that's how you burn the calories. But you know what they say, it's morally wrong to allow suckers to keep their money. And there are a lot of suckers out there who fall for this kind of stuff. Zero calorie products. So people who you know, eat lots of, uh, you know, Weight Watchers approved kind of things, you know, things with low calories, think they can actually lose weight or burn weight, uh, you know, that way. Uh, that's just crazy. You can't actually eat things uh, to lose weight like that or eat things so you won't eat other things to lose weight. And eating specific foods with the aim of losing weight is a dumb idea. Eating less foods or having your jaw wired shut or taping up your mouth so you can't eat, that's the best way to lose weight. So just don't eat. Makes more sense in eating zero calorie products. You'll have a zero bank account. All right? uh, most detox teas. Some of the detox tea formulas I look at are just junk. I look at them and I think these herbs have got nothing to do with detox or cleansing at all. Why are they putting them in little, you know, little sachets or things for people to put in teacups? If you want a detox tea, it's not going to taste good. It's going to taste like crap, and you probably won't drink it. But that's what a detox tea is all about. Bitter herbs, sour herbs. You look at a lot of Chinese herbs they use for detox. They taste gross, absolutely gross. But you know what they say, uh, the worse it tastes, the better it is. So, yeah, the detox teas that I could formulate for you will make you gag, but they will cleanse. The ones you buy in the shop with all the nice sweet flavors in them don't usually do much. So if you want a detox tea, go and see an herbalist. And then you'll probably take one sip of that concoction and go, oh, thank you for that, but I might just try something else. All right. Um, an interesting one I found also on a website from Gwyneth Paltrow. It's got a goop line of products or something, and I found one called Vampire Repellent. I found that quite interesting. So. I think it's 30 bucks for this stuff, and if you spray it on your body, apparently um, it's got sonically tuned gem elixirs in it, whatever the hell that means. So it's supposed to ward off vampires. So very interesting. I mean, what kind of person buys a vampire repellent? So uh, maybe someone who watches, um, what do they call that? Um, Lost Thrones, Game of Lost Thrones or something? I don't even know about it. So people killing each other with axes and stuff. Maybe there's vampires in those kind of horror movies, and they... They want to chase them out of their dreams or something. I don't know. but um, And the other ones, of course, are the weird extracts like placenta extract or ant extract. Or, and I've got no doubt there will be many mushroom extracts out there that are crap as well. If you're going to buy a mushroom extract, you know, like a reishi or organoderma, like a good quality mushroom extract, go to a company that specializes in mushroom extracts. There are a few good companies in the U.S. that do that. But be careful because... I've been in this supplement business a long time and I've seen so much junk for sale. But I've got to admit the vampire repellent is the one that, that, that I'm quite interested in. Uh, I might actually get some of that and um, see if the teenagers back off a bit if I spray it on me. Uh, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, so there you have it, weird supplements. Look, if it sounds crazy, um, if the person looks half crazy that's selling it, if there's not much science to support it, um, and just because everybody else does it, I mean, that doesn't really mean anything, does it? Think logically about what you're spending your money on. But when it comes to weird or crazy supplements, I've seen all kinds of weird stuff. But please stop taking these things because you're just hemorrhaging your bank account and you're not going to get any therapeutic value from it whatsoever.
okay? Be careful. Leave some comments below, and if you've got any crazy stuff you want me to comment on, put it down below uh, as a question, and then I'll come out and give you a reply on them, okay? Thanks for the question.